Growing up, my dad would always say, stay out of the real world as long as possible, and then get a good job where I can take care of my father in his old age. And so I took to heart that very first part, and I, after school, joined the Peace Corps and was sent to Thailand, which is where I first started thinking about having a shop. Um, they had this wonderful drink called Chai Yen, and it's a traditional Thai iced tea, and I would go, and I would give it to my, like I would treat myself with it. It would be my, my drink, and this drink was an orange color, and orange has always been my favorite color, and so of course I was drawn to this drink, and it was fantastic. It's sweet, it's creamy, it's earthy, it's got all of these different flavors and textures, and I fell, found myself just falling in love with it, and it was something that I referred to as my orange spot, and I was finding my orange spot. I was. So when I came back from the, um, all my travels, I decided that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to have a coffee shop, and I wanted to, to serve the chai yen specifically, but also coffee. However, I had no idea. Like, I wasn't even a coffee drinker, really. So I had to start from the very beginning, and I took some business classes, and then I started working um, at Starbucks, and then I moved to Caribou Coffee, which is another big coffee chain. And then I moved down here and met Laura via a coffee shop that I worked on here called Local Coffee Shop in West Ashley. Julie was managing it. And um, I was at that point, gosh, what was that, 2011? Mm -hmm. So I was um, an assistant manager at the Governor's House Inn, which is a bed and breakfast downtown. And I was enjoying it, but um, being an English major, it wasn't what I anticipated. I thought I would be Flannery O'Connor, so to speak. So um, I was kind of in this mode of, okay, what do I do with an English degree? And I was taking some graduate courses and um, we got to talking about a coffee shop and um, Julia and my husband, Matthew, worked together. And um, anyway, our first meeting uh, was actually at Madarua and I told Matthew before the meeting, I said, I'm gonna just go in and listen to what she has to say and tell her all the reasons why I would be a really good business partner. Um, I didn't know what that meant um, because it is a lot of hard work and it's all encompassing, but it it's very rewarding and it it really worked out because we didn't know each other very well. We didn't. We kind so, of grew our friendship grew through our business partnership, which was really great because. took it one step at a time and we started by meeting at different coffee shops around the, the area here and we decided we were going to find a mission statement and we were going to... Which was written at Early Bird Diner in the back left or, or right corner depending on where you're standing. Mm -hmm. So, but the whole idea has always been rooted in finding your happy place, finding your orange spot, that sense of solace and respite. Um, decided on Park Circle because we knew this area was up and coming and it was growing and there was no coffee shop and we just loved the sense of community and that was part of it. We have three main parts to our um, mission statement and it's encouraging creativity, creativity, fostering relationships, relationships and building community and this was just an area that really just kind of grabbed onto it and so we worked yeah. really hard and we started with a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> Except passion and yes. all we had really I mean <laughs> long hours we started at the markets and we just kind of started what, what do they call it we did guerrilla marketing and learning these things <laughs> beans we use at the orange spot we're really excited about because they are um, from Peoria, Illinois. It's a micro roaster out of Illinois. Um, we met them through uh, one of my college friends and then Julie ended up going to school with the brother-in-law of one of the owners um, and they're a little bit older than us. They're maybe a year ahead of us in their business plan but um, they have excellent beans and we're the only ones who carry them in this area and they ship to Texas and they ship out west to Washington. Um, I don't think they ship anywhere else on the East Coast. 
but They're called 3030 Coffee Company? Yeah, 3030 Coffee Company. Um, so uh, we went with them because of the, all those elements I already said, and then also they were okay with us having other roasters in the picture, um, and that means that we can support local coffee roasters, like coastal coffee roasters, and they are who we use um, for our cold press beans. And we really wanted to be able to do that um, because they roast their beans a little differently, and we think it, it goes well with the cold press, and people love our iced coffee, so that worked out well. Again, um, we it is a traditional Thai iced tea, and so it's a black Thai tea, um, and then it's mixed with a bunch of different spices like cardamom, star anise, vanilla bean. We do a little bit of raw cane sugar, and we blend that all together and steep it. And then um, once we sift out all of the the leaves and everything, we top it with a little bit of half and half, or almond or milk. Almond milk, you know. So people don't like it, and so. people also really love that as well. The biggest challenge with starting a small business, as I would think most small business owners would say, is the time of you just not having much time, really. The work-life home balance, is that what we call it? Yeah. Um, or lack of. Lack thereof. It's, it's taken a, a while to get to a good point where we actually feel balanced. A lot of the beginning parts were up and down and all mm -hmm. around and just late, late hours. and lots of lost sleep and I mean again I don't think that that's necessarily that's not you know original to us I think that's a lot of I, I've come to respect small business owners a lot um, and then the biggest joy is the fulfillment <laughs> It's like the yin and the yang, the, the fulfillment of seeing our mission statement become a reality. Like that's kind of what it is. Because it's such a passionate mission statement. Um, it, you know, again, it's the crea um, encouraging creativity and fostering community. or Fostering, fostering relationships yeah. and building community. And to see business meetings happen here and old friends meeting up and people on their way to their airport and you know, like, I mean, we've had people who are embarking on new places. A woman came in on Friday, and she had sold everything and got a Winnebago, and she was driving across, clear across to California, and she wanted to stop here and tell me about it, because that was, like, she was like, I just, there's just nobody like you guys, which is that really so humbling and so wonderful to hear, but it's exactly what we want, like, encouraging yeah. other people's passions, because and I think it's our passion. in part, like, that's coffee houses are set up already to really provide that to people. Um, a lot of them do step into that role. But Laura was telling me about how a couple people come in over the weekend and they were just coming to show, like their parents are visiting and they, they brought their parents in, not necessarily to buy anything, but to just be like, this is where I do my studying. This is where I hang out. And it's, it's really cool. It's really, it's surreal to kind of see it happening in front of you and like, they're coming to our coffee shop to, it, it, it is their orange spot, it is their, their happy place, and it's really exciting. Yeah. We're going to introduce them to our, our um, people. This fall, meet the orange spot character flair. Ready? We've got Cup of Joe, who lives the mug life. Just trying to get his fill of caffeine. We've got T, who always sees the, the glass half full. That's Joe's best friend. And Philip, who is grumpy until he gets his fill. Uh, so. Oh, ah, Cheyenne. Get it! <laughs> so go find your character. Hashtag find your character. <laughs>